So I'm checked in in the airport now. It was pretty smooth sailing this morning compared to some other days. Um, but since I started doing video production in 06, I've had, wow, I don't even know how many flights, probably a minimum of 30 a year for the last 10 years. I worked out some years, I've had over 50 flights. It does get pretty uh, strenuous and annoying at times when you're sort of doing five or six flights in a week. Honestly, the only thing to do now is just fly enough that you're a member of uh, Velocity Gold or Qantas Club or something, just so you can get lounge access VIP through security, uh, you get free food and drink, you get extra luggage, everything. It has to be done really. Alright, we've made it to the lounge in Brisbane. Pete's already here. It's before 12 o'clock, so I presume that's why you haven't started drinking, right? How long have we thought? Oh, man, it's ages away from <laughs> This, this is a lesson yeah. to people, you should always fly after 12 o'clock so you can get the free drinks at the lounge. Uh, we're in the Air New Zealand lounge because Virgin hasn't got one, that's what's linked up. There's some weird people staring at us while we hold this, that guy <laughs> right there especially. What have you got to say to those people? <laughs> now we have some things planned but we've gone a little bit less planned this time. What, what things are actually planned? The fact that it's a Bucks party? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, that's right, we're there for work as well. Peter. Yes? It's nearly time to board. No. Okay, so we just left the Delta Lounge at LAX. We're about to jump on our flight to... Where are we going again? Vegas. Vegas! You know what's funny? We're flying first class, Vegas. <laughs> first class, I've never flown first class before. But it was only like 300 bucks instead of 200 bucks, so it's like the world's cheapest first, first class. Right. Being Delta, it'll be no better than premium economy in Virgin. Pretty much. In fact, it'll probably be worse. <laughs> People are now staring at us because we're using an Osmo in the middle of an airport. Right now we're in our hire car, a Camaro, 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 Camaro. Camaro. No. it's a Chevy, let's call it a Canary, it's a Chevy, <laughs> uh, we're in our SS Camaro V8, it's a convertible because that's all they had, not because I actually wanted one, um, but hey, we're in a non-Australian available car, that's all that matters, because that's what you have to do when you're in America, luckily the tyres are already half bored, so it actually does bake them pretty easy, even with the traction control on, luckily it's not a Mustang, because it would just probably like, Actually goes alright. Like it's not amazing, but it goes alright. Alright, it's day day one or day two? I guess technically day one. Technically it's day one. We got here yesterday at like four in the afternoon. We're too tired to get this Osmo thing out and keep filming. Yeah. But today we've had some sleep and uh, it's time to well, everything. Everything Vegas. We're going to NHRA in a Camaro convertible, drop, drop, come on. and then we're going out to dinner, then we're going to Circus Soleil, then we're going to go party. But check this out, we're inside the Luxor, so we're staying, check out the view from inside the hotel. <music> 10 o'clock on a Sunday morning, there are people playing pokies. In fact, there's probably people playing pokies that have just sat here all night. So Aaron and them have got their little uh, Barbie car that they're following us in. So uh, Aaron and the boys from Precision are following us. We're on the way to Las Vegas Motor Speedway for NHRA drag racing. Some good old drag racing. Well, it's all about the power, you know? It's all about the power. You so excited, man. Yeah, legs are about to fall off.
Cruising Las Vegas Boulevard in a drop top Camaro with the top up because we're not hairdressers. <laughs> um, on uh, Sunday night, heading on our way to Bellagio for dinner, and then after that, finishing off with uh, seeing the uh, stage show Circus Soleil there, which should be a uh, pretty good. My past time, I actually enjoy that stuff. So, uh, in for a pretty good night, and then uh, after that, we'll see uh, where the night takes us. Hey. Road bandits. All right, it's uh, day th day three. Is it day three? I don't know. I'm in a bit of a blur now. Feels like day seven. Well, all I know is day one was the day we got here, but didn't get here till late. But that whole day was traveling. It was like 36 hour day. Day two was NHRA. Then we went to Bellagio, and then we went on a mystical adventure that maybe isn't automotive related, but was pretty awesome. We saw 50 Cent playing in a booth. Floyd Mayweather was there. It was pretty cool, that's all you need to know. Uh, that feels like we've been here a week now, but it's actually just day three, Monday. And we're heading out to Hoover Dam. <clears throat> uh, we're taking the Camaro SS. We're gonna do a motor quick drive on it, because it's pretty cool. Uh, we did it. We actually got to the Hoover Dam today. It's a little bit later than we originally wanted to plan, but it's Vegas. You can't plan these things properly. Where's Megatron? Dead. Shoot that <laughs> mother man. America. So we're going to give this a go. Cruising around drop town. Screaming money, anything? Got any dollar bills you can throw out while we're driving? <laughs> I'm not really a convertible person, but I want to give this a go. Why do I instantly feel a little bit more feminine? <sighs> do you know what will make us feel less feminine? <laughs> Okay, so we're driving back from wherever we ended up in the desert outside of Las Vegas. And uh, we stopped for a quick refreshment break to get something out of the boot of the car. And Pete saw a mountain or a rock feature or something and said, let's climb it. 